Hey guys, Enter the Stars, and we're going to cover the dollar. We're going to cover money and where the dollar got its name. When I say that money is the root of all evil, which the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil, the love of it and the root of it is the same thing. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you today. Now, the Bible says, when you make yourself idols of gold and silver, which is what early money was made out of, that you become like them. You have eyes, but you cannot see. You have ears, but you cannot hear. Now, a channel that I look up to uses this symbol here because they're demonstrating to you what is hidden in plain sight. Round Saturn's eye. This dollar symbol is the serpent going around the tree. It is Satan's mark. Now, if you look at the roots of the dollar bill, you will find some very interesting things. First of all, the dollar is based off of the Jockman stall. This is Jockham and Boaz, one of the pillars used in the Illuminati. It was also in the kingdom of Bohemia, Bohemian Grove. And of course, these are the pillars of Jockham and Boaz. Notice the orientation of the pillars. And notice that this is what the world currency, the center of all world currency was based off of, the World Trade Center. But it gets better. Let's take a look at Jokmansal. This is the region. And it is 733 meters above sea level. Now, why would they put that in the description of Wikipedia? 33 being the highest degree of free Freemasonry, being one of the pillars, Jockham and Boaz, that are in every Masonic temple. Now, this is German. They shortened Jockham and Thaler to Thaler, which is dollar. It says it right here. These are the roots of your dollar bill. Now, we all need money, obviously, because they have locked us into a system where we need money. It doesn't mean that if you use money, you're evil. That's not the point of what I'm telling you here. The point of what I'm telling you here is that when you store it up for yourself, when you seek after it, when it becomes everything that you work for, that is when you have been compromised. And you need to understand the, the roots of what this money carries. And this is the root of the dollar bill. This isn't Enter the Stars talking. This is Wikipedia. These are the facts. Now, it's also interesting to note that the very first discovery of radium happened in this area. It was the only known source of radium in the world before World War I. And this person discovered tons of ur uranium and radium in this region where the dollar bill got its name and everybody knows the rest of what happened after radium was discovered world wars bombs being dropped the poisoning of our oceans all came from this area talk about blood money then they had cancer in that area because of this discovery so the american dollar bill took on the name of the dollar or the dollar and that is the name of our modern money in the United States and the world's economy is based on the dollar all of the world is lying in the power of the wicked one God was not lying when he said this okay all of these countries have variations of the dollar in their name now what they will tell you is that the origin of the dollar sign comes from an abbreviation of PS, the American Spanish-American peso. But nothing could be further from the truth. It is the serpent, the S, going around the tree of life. We see this depicted in artwork of Adam and Eve going back centuries where they show the serpent wrapping itself around the tree of life to deceive Eve. You know, truth is power. 
And once you understand what you're dealing with, you start to get it. Now, again, British five shilling pieces or crown was sometimes called the dollar. And they call it the pieces of eight. Spanish eight real coin. There's our eight again. There's actually a band or a song called Pieces of Eight. And that's where this comes from. Now here is where it gets very interesting and somewhat cryptic for those of you that are still in denial that 88 rules the world. First of all, British money is measured in pounds sterling, PS, which in fact is the same PS that the first dollar sign was made from. And they also say here that this was recognized by British North America. Now, they call it a Spanish-American peso. So they're saying that PS stands for Spanish, SP. But we can see the British pound sterling is the name of the denomination. But here is what is even more unbelievable. If you add up the coins for the British units that are in circulation, you come up with 8.88 total we have five six seven eight we have there's your eight pounds then you have in the lower denominations 50 this one is no longer in circulation 70 80 5 86 87 88 so we have 8.88 pounds for the total number of the total currency in coinage for the british money system you cannot make this stuff up you guys the queen of england turned 88 this year and finally these are the pieces of eight coins which we just reviewed as being part of the history of the dollar bill and it was worth eight reals and if you look and it what says here its purpose was to correspond to the German dollar which is the dollar and if you look on the back side of this coin we see the pillars of Joachim and Boaz the World Trade Center Joachim Stoller the original name of the dollar bill this is the history of your dollar bill and here they admit diverse theories link the origin of the dollar symbol to the columns and stripes that appear on one side of the spanish dollar and here it is the dollar sign on the pieces of eight coin you have an s on the pillar of Joachim. Now you know the truth. Now you know the energy that this carries with it. Take care and be safe, you guys.